Hey there guys, it's me Rob. Thanks for tuning into the Rob's Knowledge YouTube channel. So today in this video, we're gonna be going back to the thermostat and showing you guys how to connect that unused C wire that's back there, that blue coiled up wire, how to connect that um, on the inside of your furnace. Because connecting it to the thermos, new thermostat is easy, it's just putting it in a little wire terminal. But we need to go ahead and get into the furnace compartment and connect that up so it will actually function. So let's get over to there. Already did this step, but I just want to remind you to make sure you are shutting off the power to any of your heating or cooling systems. As you can see up here, I have the AC shut off and the furnace shut off, as those are the two heating and cooling systems that I have. Make sure you shut off all the power to be safe. Also, one way to be sure the power is cut is to just turn it to the heat, which here is to the right and then just set the temperature higher than the temperature in the room so that way it would normally kick on and then just wait a minute or so because mine normally takes about 30 seconds to kick on and if it doesn't kick on then you know the power is cut to it and obviously you want to make sure you do that in the breaker box first too and here we're going to be getting up in this little furnace compartment up here we're going to go ahead and have to this is in my little washer dryer room, so we're going to go ahead and have to put this tripod up on here. So give me a minute and I will be back when we have, we're going to go ahead and take that furnace compartment door off and get my tripod set up and I'll be right back with you. So now we have that cover off and we're going to get our tripod mounted up to get a closer we'll look at some of these wires. Okay, so now that we've climbed up here and we got a nice close up looky here, here's the whole furnace unit. And so what we're going to do is to find our C wire, since we know we have one present, now we need to find where it comes to um, and see if it's hooked up or not. And we're going to find the two wires that come in through the wall. One of these is going to be the wires that go to the thermostat. One of these is going to be the wires that go to the AC compressor. And they come in through the top here and they just come down right here through this hole and they just loop around and then here they are. They come to a bunch of wire junctions and those wire junctions come from a lot of leads off of this board. So firstly what we're going to do is find our C wire. Now all of these are connected except for there is a loose one which is a blue one which is the typical color of a C wire though not always if the installer did not follow the correct wire color coding or the standard wire color coding and that's why you should always double check, but I already know this is the C wire. This is the unused one on the thermostat that is tucked back into the wall. And this is a typical color, so this is then going to be our C wire. So they just have it wrapped up unused around the other, you know, the big cable, which is fine. We're going to unwrap that and we're just going to go ahead and get that stripped. I need to go grab my wire strippers, so I will do that now. Okay, my camera died for a second, but I got it stripped here. And what we're gonna do, now normally, on most things that I've seen, you would typically connect this C wire to the C terminal on the board, on the control board on, in the furnace. But the C terminal here is already taken up. And one of these junctions actually comes off that C connection, so what I found out you can do is just put that in with one of these junctions, you just have to find out what is the correct junction. So I'm going to tell you how I found that. And now this is for my system. Um, it should be similar for other systems, but I would go ahead and just do a little bit of light research online with some Googling just to double check before trying. So here, what we're going to be looking for is we're going to be looking at the two bundles of wires that we discussed coming in from the wall earlier, the thermostat bundle and the AC compressor bundle. So if we look at the two wire, the low voltage two wire that comes from the AC compressor. And you see in this case the white wire which is connected to the yellow from the thermostat. Now the yellow from the thermostat is the call for cooling. So if that's connected to the white wire then you know the other wire in this two wire cable right here has to be connected to this C for the common wire or the ground path for the 24 volts to return to. And so that is actually where we're going to go ahead and hook our C wire into underneath this wire nut. So again with all power off and everything make sure you don't lose your wire nut and 
then just put this oops, sorry I went off camera and this is the C wire is a thick wire compared to this little red one but we're just gonna put this in here with these other two we're gonna go ahead and twist these together a little bit if we can just like so and then just go ahead and put your wire nut on there nice and snug make sure it's a good connection and you're good to go uh, go ahead and seal all your wires back into your furnace and I'm gonna go ahead and put this cover back on and then you're good to go to go ahead and start installing the thermostat and that's all we're gonna show you in this video but if you want to see the thermostat install video or how to locate if you have a C wire in the first place. All those videos are down in the description below. They'll also be in the top right in the info cards and also on the end screens on screen now. If this helps you out guys, please, please, please smack that thumbs up button. It helps out the video so much. It helps out my channel so much. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.